Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I am talking specifically about Ryzen 5 processors, most notably the Ryzen 5 1400, 1500X, which are both 4-core, 8-thread processors, as well as the Ryzen 5 1600, which is a 6-core and 12-thread processor. Now this video is strictly about gamers and people that are building PCs for the sole purpose of gaming right now. We're not looking at people that want to be streamers, make YouTube videos, make other videos for other platforms. We're just strictly looking at gaming. And the question being posed is which Ryzen 5 processor is right for you because they seem to be in the sweet spot of the price to performance ratio for AMD's lineup of Ryzen desktop processors. So let's look at that now. At face value, the Ryzen 5 1600 at currently $200 on Amazon as of filming this. And by the way, I'll leave links to all these products down below. But right now it looks like at face value, the best value uh, and the best bang for your buck because you're getting six full cores as opposed to four cores, and you're getting 12 threads instead of eight. Now all of these following tests were actually run with the Ryzen 1800X system behind me. There was actually 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM running at 2933 megahertz. The processor was running at 3.9 gigahertz for all the tests, both the four core and the six core tests. And also we're running all these tests on an RX 580. This is an XFX version of the card. And we're doing that because I feel like a middle range processor, uh, something in the RX 580 GTX 1060 line is a lot more reasonable to expect that most people will be pairing those cards with the Ryzen 5 processors as opposed to things like GTX 1080s or 1080 Ti's. Now with these tests we're not trying to figure out if the Ryzen 5 1600 is a better processor than the 1400 or the 1500X. We already know that it's a better processor both uh, typically in gaming as well as definitely in productivity tasks but we're really trying to figure out if the difference between four cores versus six cores is good enough or a big enough of a difference to justify spending the extra 20 or 30 dollars on it. And just for reference right now you can get a Ryzen 5 1400 on Amazon for 165 dollars, a 1500X runs you 175 dollars, and again the 1600 is 200 dollars. And in case you're wondering the 1600X is 230 dollars on Amazon but again I don't really feel like it's a good uh, pick really for almost anyone because it does not come with a cooler you have to provide that on your own and it's a full 30 dollars more and once you overclock a 1600 even if the 1600 X's tend to be bend slightly better, you're going to be within about 100 megahertz of each other. Uh, so the 1600 just presents a much better value. So I've been rambling. Let's uh, hop over to the computer behind me and uh, take a look at the numbers and the uh, anecdotal evidence that I came up with for this comparison. So first up here is Wolfenstein 2 at 1080p on the Mindleben preset, both in the 4-core and 8-thread configuration, as well as the 6-core and 12-thread configuration. Now you'll notice the FPS number displayed in the top left-hand corner of both of these clips is bouncing around the same number, sort of between that 110 to 130 FPS mark, and there doesn't actually seem to be much advantage to having two extra cores or four extra threads, at least Ryzen cores in this case. Now just a note here, I did not use fraps on this particular test because it does not work with Wolfenstein 2, at least the version of Fraps that I'm using, and I think that has to do with the Vulkan API. And moving on to a little more concrete numbers here from GTA 5, I would call this test within the margin of error uh, because it wasn't an overly long extended benchmark, but the 6 core did perform a little bit worse in my run than the 4 core did here. And in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, again, I would call this within the margin of error again because we're seeing a 3 average FPS difference with the 1% low being slightly better on the 6 core as well. So this one does go to the 6 core, but again, just barely. So the limited evidence that I have here shows that 4 cores and 6 cores, um, at least for Ryzen processors with uh, simultaneous multi-threading, which is similar to Intel's hyper-threading, um, doesn't really give you a big benefit by jumping up to those six cores and you can definitely save about 25 or 35 dollars uh, by getting the lesser chips the R5 1400 or the 1500X. Uh, personally I actually recommend the 1500X because it comes with a better stock cooler than the Ryzen 5 1400 as well as 16 megabytes of cache instead of just 8 megabytes. And with that stock cooler with my own experience with my Ryzen 5 1600 is that you can definitely hit 3.85 or even 3.9 gigahertz with just the stock cooler without additional uh, costs being invested in a better cooler or anything like that. So it actually can overclock provided that your case is fairly well ventilated. You can overclock fairly well with the stock cooler on these chips. That all being said, if you do have aspirations for doing things that require more cores and more threads, things like video 
editing, uh, things like maybe virtual machines um, on your system or things like that, then I definitely would recommend spending the extra money and getting a Ryzen 5 1600 because you're getting two cores and four additional threads for actually quite a small cost. So as always, I'm curious about you guys. If you are uh, specifically running a gaming PC out there or maybe thinking about building a gaming PC, are you thinking more of the four core eight thread variants or are you willing to spend that extra 25 or $35 to get a six core and 12 thread processor instead? Let me know down below. And of course, if you like this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment down below. All those things help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.